welcome back to another like days in my life vlog i'm so excited to be doing more of these even though i still feel like my life is kind of boring and not really something like we're watching about but you all seem pretty interested in them so i'm gonna keep doing them because i like them also i just realized my tongue was blue i was eating warheads i have a bunch of warheads left over from a charity stream that i participated in and one of the incentives was to eat warheads and i have a bunch left over because it was like five pounds worth of warheads once you get past the sourness they're actually pretty good but today is tuesday may 23rd it's in the evening now so like most of the day is gone but i filmed some like montage footage earlier today i streamed some today luke is currently at the gym and i think went to target so we're gonna go on our nightly walk together once he gets home and then it'll be like a chill rest of the day tomorrow probably include may even include thursday so this might be a three-day vlog i don't know yet it'll at least be a two-day vlog but tomorrow is wednesday i don't stream tomorrow instead i have volunteering tomorrow and i'll take tomorrow to do some like chores around the house i also have to run to the post office uh, i have to go to my p.o box that i have to get like pr packages and stuff because g fuel sent me something so i need to go pick that up I need to go grocery shopping tomorrow so tomorrow will, will probably be a little bit more exciting than today but yeah so i'm just waiting for him to come back hi what's wrong chester's here what's the matter He's been very lovey today. He's been very needy and very cuddly. Hi, what's up? Are you handsome? I like how the camera focused on him. Are you handsome? He's trying to tell me that it's dinner time. It's not. It's currently 6.48. Dinner time is 7.30. He's like, no. Dinner time is now. Pop your butt down. But he's been like extra lovey today. Even when I was streaming earlier and playing games, all he wanted to do was be in my lap. And he doesn't normally do that. He usually wants to be back in his tower over there. But today he wanted to be in the midst of it all. He's so cute. You cute? He's so cute. Look at him. You can't tell me that he's not a cute cat. Also, I'm still trying to get my bangs to work right. I have curlers now. The curlers will work for a little bit, but then they don't really keep them volumized this could potentially make a good part of the thumbnail this little clip right here just chester sitting off to the side look, look ahead <laughs> that could be a good that could be a good one i have to hold my fingers over here and like dude you are so cute my god when did you get this adorable all it is are my fingers. All it is are my fingers. Dang, you're cute. Anyway, sorry. I can't get over how cute my cat is. He's like, oh, okay, I've had enough. But anyway, uh, so I'm just waiting now for Luke to come back so we can go on our walk. Y'all might get fed early depending on when we go on our walk. So it is almost midnight, but I had some requests because in the last vlog, I forgot to include this part of our evenings. I'm so sorry, did I just poke you in the face? I forgot to include this in our evenings, but people wanted to see um, like I'm time, <laughs> like I'm time again. So that's what we're gonna record <laughs> before going to bed. <laughs> Could you kindly? Tonight we are having tuna and scallop. It's a favorite of theirs. They don't know what patience is. Calm down. Hold on. There we go. We usually go like three go-arounds with the lick em. All right, this will be probably the last pass. That's it. Oh, you got a little bit on your fur, buddy. That's it, everyone. Oh my God, these guys. That's it. Why can't all of you just look up at once? Nightly like is done. Damn, y'all are cute. <laughs> Was it good? Is it good? 
Okay. Good night, everyone. Good morning, everyone. It is May 24th, Wednesday. I am doing my morning skincare routine and thought I'd talk through this one because I think the last vlog, I didn't talk through the morning one, but I talked through the nighttime one, but it is currently 9.37. I'm a little behind today, but it's okay. I don't stream on Wednesdays, but I do have errands to run. I don't really want to go out, but I have to for one of them on Wednesdays, every other Wednesday. I volunteer with the local Humane Society and I just basically what I do during that is I just go take care of the kitties, uh, make sure that litter boxes are cleaned and fed, they have water, they get to stretch their legs, things like that. Uh, so like that one I have to go out for but that's not until later this evening but I do need to go to the grocery store as much as I don't want to. And like my thing is I don't mind running errands once I'm out. It's kind of like going to the gym. I don't like the build up to like leaving and going there. But once I'm there, I'm fine. It's just the build up to it. Also ignore the fact that I'm missing two fingernails right now. These nails will not stay on for the life of me. Another errand is to run hopefully to Ulta or Walgreens or something and find nails that I actually like. Cause the nails I'm wearing right now, not my favorite. There's one specific brand that I do like and they tend to stay on my nails better. So other than that, it's uh, mostly groceries that I need to get today and it's not very many groceries. I'm not gonna do like an extensive grocery haul, if you will. We need some things like Luke wants pineapple, I want watermelon, we need to get us some Ritz crackers cause that's like our favorite snack. Also, I don't know how the lighting is here. Hopefully I'm in focus. It's kind of hard to see. Like I don't want to turn on the overhead light cause I've got natural light, but it's like not enough natural light. <laughs> Pretty much it for the day. Maybe edit a little bit of this vlog so I'm not doing it all tomorrow. I say that now. I'll probably still end up doing it all tomorrow. <sighs> I don't want to go. I don't want to go. I don't like going out in public. I don't like dealing with the public. I don't like the time that it takes. I get very overwhelmed easily in the grocery store. So I try and go somewhat fast and I also try and stick with a list. I felt like that has helped me a lot. As long as I stick with a list, I can get in and out pretty fast. I'm thinking Kroger. Kroger is my favorite uh, grocery store. Wegmans, if I if I feel like I got a little extra money just hanging around, which is not often. Yeah, I like, I like Wegmans, I like Kroger. I used to really like Publix, but I feel like every time I go in Publix now, they never have what I want. They'll have like, if I have a list of five things, they'll have like two. Whereas if I go to Kroger, typically they have all five, at least four. If I have very specific things, I uh, definitely go to Kroger. Wegmans doesn't have a whole lot of what I want, but I, I do like going there for certain things. Used to really like Publix, but not so much anymore. Also, I've started putting on SPF, which I probably should have been doing anyway. But then I think I saw a TikTok where you're supposed to be wearing SPF even if you don't go outside. Like even if you're just at your computer looking at a monitor, you're supposed to put on SPF. And I'm like, great. I'm just now finding this out in my 30s fun. There we are. I'm gonna try and style my bangs again with curlers. I got some curlers off of Amazon. They come in three sizes. There's like a big one, medium one, little one. I don't know which one is the best one for curtain bangs. I used the medium one yesterday because I was like, all right, this is the middle of the road. I figured the big one probably wasn't right, but then I feel like this is too small. So maybe it's the big one. I don't know. Anyone know anything about curtain bangs? Because 
These are my sizes and I don't know which one is the best for curtain bangs, but I'm gonna try it again. So when it comes to curtain bangs, I don't know if you're supposed to wet them. I know some people say to just put them in the roller and then use a blow dryer on it and the heat should do it, but I don't know if wetting it would make it work better. So I think I might try that real fast. All right, so they're slightly wet. I'm also gonna put some heat protectant on it, which also will make it a little bit more wet. Let's make sure that all gets through nice and even. And you'll tell that I clearly don't know what I'm doing. I literally was like styling my bangs the same way for all these years, so. I'm gonna try the medium one again. I know you're supposed to like put it at the base and then roll up and then roll it down. Would the bigger one be better? I don't know. I don't know if the bigger roller would be better. Anyway, let's try. Everyone does it so nicely and their hair doesn't look like an absolute shit show at the end. So we're just gonna leave it in the roller for a second. I'm gonna redo the rest of my hair. I'm just putting it up today cause I'm not streaming or anything. So just running errands. We're just gonna throw it up so I put less heat on my hair today, which needs a break every so often. Put it up with my super cute flower clip that I got from Ulta relatively recently. I think it was like two weeks ago or something. I find that this is usually around the best time where my hair will, well, it doesn't look that great now. It looked better before. Does anyone else do this? Like when you don't mean to have like a really good looking bun, but then it looks fantastic when you just like do it in a rush. But then when you try and purposely recreate it, it looks like shit. All right, let's see how this goes. That's cute. Is that in the middle? Yeah. What am I doing wrong? I mean, it's still wet, so obviously it didn't dry very well. And I know some people say, like once it gets to this point, tuck it behind your ear so that while it dries, creates that like little hoop moment, hoop moment, curve moment, whatever. Y'all know what I'm talking about. So maybe we'll just go with that. This looks atrocious. It's fine. I'm gonna go throw on just a slight bit of makeup while it does its thing. Have a little fit check for going to run errands. I think my bangs turned out. Okay, kind of, still looks like a mess. Anyway, here's my fit. I feel like I wear this top all the time now, but it's fine, it's comfortable. I don't know if I want it to be tucked in or not, but it's fine, whatever. Some dock sandals, pretty comfy outfit for running errands. Yeah, so we're gonna go to post office and then grocery store. Those are the two big ones, Ulta, if I can swing it. Just ran in the post office to get my package that G Fuel sent me. In case you didn't know, I'm partnered with G Fuel. Uh, but they had a new flavor come out and I was like, oh my God, that sounds incredible. And my partner manager was like, I'm sending it to you. I'm like, yay. And it's hibiscus tea. I love the tea flavors so freaking much. I cannot wait to try this. Like, look at that packaging. It looks so good. I had to stop by and get that. Uh, I think they're sending me some other things too, but I don't know when they're supposed to arrive. They're like all shipped differently. But luckily I didn't actually have to wait in line at the post office for this because usually I do because they don't have like enough boxes or anything like that so I was able to just get a key to a box to open it and then pick up my package which was nice so can't wait to try this later all right now that that's done and that didn't take nearly as long oh they have a new sticker with like cherry blossoms on it it's very pretty now that that didn't take nearly as long as I thought I was going to might actually have time to stop at Ulta and then we'll go to Kroger. I actually made it into Ulta and it was, it ended up being a pretty quick trip. I was very proud of myself. I am so excited because my favorite press on nails have a bunch of new like colors and patterns now. So first of all, they had a solid white one, which I've, I've never seen the solid white ones before. I don't know if these are new or not, but I love that for summertime. They also had, what did they call The soft ombre rose in a round shape. I'm not usually a round shape person, but the color I loved. So I was like, I'll deal with it. But this one, this one is my favorite. It's called Beach Bum in Almond, which Coffin is my favorite nail shape, but I do love Almond as well. But look at these. You've got some solids and then some where it's just the tip. Oh, I don't know which one I'm going to wear first, but they're so pretty. So I got those, which was the main reason why I was going in, actually. Uh, got more of my heat thermal spray that I love so much. Got my favorite nail glue for the nails. Got some... It's new Drunk Elephant, so they stopped making the Drunk Elephant eye cream that I use at night. So I got this one instead because it sounded close, because they've got some new eye creams. It sounded close to 
the one I was using. So I got this because I just ran out. Got a new hair clip. I am a sucker for hair clips. Look at that. It's a butterfly, but it's like black and white marble look. And then because it's summertime and I, you know, I want to be outside some, I got some sunscreen. Sunbum is uh, my favorite sunscreen. Cruelty free. But we are at Kroger now. I don't want to go in. I hate grocery shopping so much. I love what I can get at Kroger, but I just hate grocery shopping. It doesn't look like it's going to be super packed. Thank God, because get in here was atrocious. Only gonna get a few things. I say that now. Wish me luck. Back home now, and just a few things. We already put away the chips that I got us, but we got some bonza pasta. I got three different kinds. Got rigatoni and penne and is it ziti. Ziti. Got some coffee, spaghetti sauces, biscoff. Cookie butter, can't have enough of that. Got some pineapple for Luke, strawberries for both of us, watermelon for me, bananas for both of us, cream cheese, because I haven't done my combination of cream cheese and like bagel chips in a while. Some air fryer chicken, garlic knots, fries, hummus for Luke. And then these cheeses, I think they were like two for seven. So I got some of them. Uh, I got myself some high noons. It's like my favorite alcoholic beverage. And then some fried chicken for lunch now, late lunch. So, oh, and then also best milk is the Chobani oat milk, zero sugar. And then I got some creamer. And then my favorite soda or whatever, diet ginger ale. And it was four for 15. So I was like, I can't pass that up. So got some of that. If you can't tell, it's lickum time. It's li much later in the day. I haven't recorded much since earlier, <laughs> but it's time for the nightly lickum. Tonight we're having chicken and salmon. We're all very much ready for it. Chill. Oh my God, it's getting everywhere already. Look it up. <laughs> oh my God, do you see the mess that they're making? That's it. We're all done. It goes by so fast. Before I get into good mornings, Luke is about to leave me. And by leave me, I mean he's going to St. Louis <laughs> <laughs> for a few days, but I'm staying here with the animal. He gotta go now. I love you. Yes, he's going to St. Louis for a few days because there's a radio festival that he's potentially gonna photograph. And then, am I allowed to say the radio thing? Since, yes. Since now, yes. I was about to say, because this will go up tomorrow. Correct. So now he's so he's gonna be on the radio show. What are you gonna be on? 1057 The Point, the Rizzuto Show. Yes. In St. Louis. Yep. So by the time this video comes up, he'll have already been on it. We're allowed to say it now. Yes. I will be listening from Virginia Yay. with the animals. Yay. Love you. I love you and Ivan loves you also. I hope you have fun. I will. Be safe. Aww. Hello everyone. It's the end of Thursday, May 25th. I don't think I said the day this morning when I recorded a Luke leaving for the weekend. Uh, he's heading to St. Louis. Excuse me, I have hiccups. But yeah, I streamed for like seven hours today. Was it seven hours? Eight hours, something like that. Eight hours. It was eight hours. Streamed for about eight hours today because a new game has come out and I had access to it. Uh, for testing, which was so much fun to be able to do that. I have never been part of technical tests or anything like that. I've done betas and things like that with games, but I've never done testing, technical testing, anything like that. And it was a ton of fun. Uh, it's the new Texas Chainsaw Massacre game, 
which I don't know why I was interested in the game. I've never seen any of those movies before and the whole concept freaks me the hell out. Uh, you know, like cannibals and you know, just taking a wrong turn and ending up at the wrong place and things like that. Never seen any of those movies. So it's been a lot of fun though to participate in playing the game early because the game's not even supposed to come out until August of this year. So yeah, I got to stream that for a little bit and it was a ton of fun. But I do want to go ahead and wrap up this vlog because I was originally only going to have it for two days, but then I decided to record a little bit this morning. So that's where we are. And now I have to edit this so that I can go up tomorrow. I'm recording this, you know, on the 25th of May and it's supposed to go up on the 26th of May. So I need to edit and I don't know how long this is going to be. I did want to do a proper sign off. I hope you all enjoyed this one. Again, I don't feel like it's like a super exciting thing, but you all seem to enjoy the everyday one. So we're gonna keep going because I personally like them myself. But that is gonna be it for this vlog. If you enjoyed it, be sure to give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to go down there, hit that subscribe button, as well as that notification bell so YouTube will let you know when I upload next. But until next time, bye everyone. Mm -hmm.